Hey, what's going on guys? So, I'm gonna go ahead and check out my daily Star Wars theory video. Looks like today's why I think Vader was so timid in Kenobi. Let's check it out. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to cover why Vader was timid in his fight against Kenobi. This was something that I really had a problem with in the watch party. I was very confused and I was just kind of let down because I feel like, you know, 10 years of pent up aggression waiting for this moment. And he's just a sort of uh, playing it slow. He's just toying with his food once again. He's toyed with now Kenobi, he's toyed with Luke, and we've never really seen him at full maximum aggression, except for Rogue One, but he was just against, you know, mere rebels. He was against humans with blasters, and that that's like him, that's just nothing to him. So I've been thinking about it a lot, and because it's actually bugged me, and you know, I've also taken a lot of your guys' comments into consideration from the watch party, from the ones that I remember, and I have to say that I think a lot of you are correct when you were saying that he is just very cautious at this point. That's really the only thing that could make sense is that he has learned from his mistake of being too arrogant, cocky, egotistical, and brash. Because that's how, that's what led him into this situation in the first place where he's now, you know, encased in this tomb, this black clad mask, in this suit. It was his mere arrogance that made him lose to Kenobi in the first place. And so he's probably trained and he's gotten over that initial, like, oh, I gotta get him. I'm gonna, I see him, I'm gonna run after him. You know, like, that was very much Anakin. You know, he sees Dooku, I'm taking him now. No, Anakin, no! And he just absolutely yeeted into the corner. You know, it, he, he was always so hot-headed, man. He would just go. Anything he felt, he would do. And I feel like this Vader is now one step above that. He's not quite the Vader we see as, you know, as controlled as in the original trilogy, and he's not supposed to be. He's still conflicted. He's still got a bit of, you know, let's say light side, dark side in him. Not really, but he's still got a bit of Anakin in him, more so than, you know, in A New Hope and Empire and Return of the Jedi. So... I think that he is completely just playing it safe. I think he's just really worried about ending up the way that he was. And also, he doesn't know what Kenobi has been doing in this time. He doesn't know how powerful he has become. He doesn't know if Kenobi has been training his butt off maybe with Yoda or whoever. And so he is cautious. He's just chilling a little bit. He doesn't want to be, you know, like Maul never changed. Maul never took that into consideration. Even though he's much older and much more experienced than Vader, he just rushed Kenobi, just like he always did. You know, uh, in the desert, he just went for it. And he's like, well, I, you know, I, you're using your master's same move, same pose, I'm gonna do the same thing. And well, we saw what happened. But Vader is much smarter, he's more intellectual, and I feel like he is much more composed now than Anakin was. And I feel he needed to let Anakin die in order to fully embrace this new version of himself. Because he had to relearn everything. He had to learn all of his movements. You know, he got all these new limbs that are robotics. And in the Brotherhood book, which is canon, well, that I've uh, mentioned a few sense. times, you know, this part is that Anakin Vader. was discussing uh, quite a bit, and it Anakin was written was. in the book quite a bit, how his new mechanical hand felt and that it just didn't quite feel right. And mind you, that was like a pretty advanced technological piece, but all the pieces that Vader got, unless they change this, were very, very outdated. Like, these were worse pieces. I don't pieces buy that. Gre Grievous had, like, state-of-the-art kind of stuff. Uh, I haven't Vader heard about had, like, the Where have they mentioned that in anything canon like, recently? Imagine, like, a, a Why would his PC suit be outdated? I, I don't really understand that. You know, that. That's basically what Vader had to work with, so to speak. You know, he couldn't raise his hands above his head. He was I just very immobile. He was just, like, a huge jack state of the art. that, like, never does yoga or never stretches or never does anything and, like, can't move. You know, that's basically Vader and his body. And if you compare that to Anakin, Anakin was just like swift, man. He was like Muhammad Ali. He just, would just be able to just dance around his enemies. And now Vader had to relearn that much taller, much bigger, much heavier. And, you know, his connection to the Force much more severed. So he now has to be much more clunky and careful against Kenobi and you know mixed with the fact that he doesn't know really how powerful Kenobi is or what he's been up to at this time 
And I think now, when he was peering into the fire that he didn't go through, you can check out my video about that as well, if you like. Because I go through it and I think there's a reasonable theory behind it. We'll see if it comes true. But I believe that he was just very timid on purpose and he was just being careful like he was in A New Hope. So, again, in that time, I suppose they hadn't seen each other for 10 years and he was probably wondering, well, maybe Kenobi has been training and maybe he is just as powerful, right? So, I think the next time we see them fight, which will be the second time in Kenobi, because there's just no way They're they can gonna fight not fight. Second time. It just wouldn't Don't make any sense any doubt to about that. So if they fight again, I think Vader is going to go much harder this time. And I think Kenobi will eventually wake up and snap out of it. And I'm going to make a video on that as well, about how Kenobi will finally become the Obi-Wan that we know in A New Hope. And, you know, probably dust Vader, because, well, he has to, because of what Vader said to him in A New Hope. When I left you, I was but the learner, but now I am the master. So when I left you, well, I guess... He lost, so, and, and this time he didn't lose, so he's gonna have to fight again, and I guess he's gonna get his butt handed to him. Now, all that being said, I do think there were some moments that were a little bit strange, you know? I think um, Vader is being a little dramatic, he's drawing it out a little bit, and, you know, for all the reasons that I've mentioned in this video and other videos, I do feel it could have been a little bit better if he was a little more aggressive, a little faster with his swings, and really how we thought that he would be if... Like, how I would have had it was, I wouldn't have had that scene where, you know, we just see his cape and then we see him ignite his saber. It just looked a little bit too fan-filmy for me. I would oh, have had him sick. standing there with his cape, and then I would have had Kenobi see him and stop, right? And then we just stay on Kenobi for a little bit, and I, I'm just making this off the top of my head. We can stay, it stays on Kenobi for a little bit, maybe pushes in, and then all of a sudden we just hear the red saber ignite, look at Vader and he's just like freaking running towards Kenobi and he's just like just gonna slice him and that's when Obi-Wan ignites a saber and he's like blocking I stuff. like how Obi-Wan and Kenobi was Vader uh, maybe like takes him with the force and like throws him to like a little sand you know, pile being, you know, and then an apex just predator. takes him and throws him over uh, there you know, and just then just the runs kill. after him and then we can get to the part where he does the fire thing. I think a little bit more aggressiveness would have really sold the scene for me but I do understand that it is difficult for people to really fathom why Vader was so timid if they don't understand the lore behind him, perhaps. And I don't even know if the writer understands the lore behind him. I don't know anything about the gentleman, and I'm not trying to discredit him, but I feel the like there is just knows. a lot to understand about Vader and his movements and his overall body and his, uh, you know, his actual mechanics, not even just, you know, from a biological standpoint, but from a actual mechanical standpoint that his new mechanical limbs are. So there's definitely a lot for Vader to overcome, and I feel like that definitely played a factor, along with the fact that he was probably afraid and he just didn't want to be as brash as Anakin Skywalker was, because every time he was, he just got wiped. You know, with Dooku, he lost his arm, and with Obi-Wan, well, we know what happened. He lost everything. So being timid for Vader, I guess, is okay. And, and while being timid, he was still winning. And I think in the end, he realized that Kenobi really isn't the man that he used to be. And for him, maybe this uh, wasn't really a battle that he wanted to pursue anymore. Uh, in the sense that if he beat him now, it wouldn't be as satisfying because it's just not yeah, really a ben worthy adversary. Killing. It's just a beaten down, broken, he, already he needs, he needs frightened and weak old man. And I mean, Super. you can't feel too good about yourself if you don't you know, beat on someone that is just in that state. What, are you, what is he going to say? Like, oh, I am victorious. I beat yeah, someone who can't even For fight sure. anymore. It's like, what? Cool, dude. Like, so, yeah, I mean, that's why I think Vader was timid. I had a major problem with it, for sure, but also I understand, you know, sitting back and, and absorbing and kind of just remembering some of the old lore, you know? Because while it is all new now, they're definitely, hopefully, pulling a lot from the old legends and canon and whatever that we used to be before they changed everything. So that should still stand, I hope. If you ever get a chance, check out the book Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Vader. It really goes into detail a lot about Vader's movements and his Great mechanics book. and how he actually feels, which is terrible. He feels terrible in that suit Nothing's better than compared Dark to Party Anakin. And it really lets you understand his world and um, what he's really going through. Like, 
for example, he can't even sleep because his breathing just keeps him awake because it's so I don't know if I buy that anymore. His, the I don't think they sleep in a suit. So bright in the dark that they sleep in the back to tank. It's annoying. Not to mention all the thousands of needles that go into his nervous system, and just in his helmet alone, let alone his actual suit that attached to his whole body. So, anyways, there's a lot to understand about Vader, and I made a ton of different videos. I mean, there's about 2,500 videos on the channel now at this point, after almost six years. So, I think a good theory definitely knows more 20 about percent of them than are do, about but Vader, I just disagree at least. Okay. So, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it. Did you think Vader was timid? Did you think he was overly powerful? Did you think that it just didn't seem like Vader? Or did you think it was absolutely perfect? You know, uh, so, let me know. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always. Yeah, so... I think that makes a lot of sense. I didn't really think about that at the time. I was like, I was wondering why Vader wasn't more aggressive as well. And I think we, we really need to allow these episodes to like marinate a little bit and sit after, you know, having such, you know, jumping the gun. And I've been um, a prisoner of the moment with these episodes as well. But after episode three, which was an absolute masterpiece, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill out a little bit and, uh, you know, let the show do its thing before I before I jump to any conclusions but uh yeah I think I think Vader figured out that you know Obi-Wan was pre was pretty soft at this point and you know he was kind of testing him and once he figured out that I guess once Obi-Wan kind of got out of that fire I think I think Vader would have taken him and probably tortured him if you know if um uh, if Game of Thrones lady Tala didn't show up but once he got away, I don't think Vader was really... Because I think Vader would have walked through that fire because he can do it. Jumped over that fire. Force grab Obi-Wan Kenobi through the fire. Uh, but I don't, I don't really think that... I think he wanted to let Obi-Wan get away. What I would like to see is is Vader, like, finds maybe this... Uh, you know, he find, obviously he's going to find that underground railroad Jedi tunnel. But, but I would like him to maybe find, like, uh, Quinlan Voss... He's not going to find Cal Kestis because, you know, they're making a sequel to that game. I don't know if it's going to take place before Obi-Wan or the same period. I think it's supposed to be like the same time period. But what if he finds Quinlan Voss, you know, and that captures Quinlan Voss and he, um, you know, he lures, uh, you know, Obi-Wan to him by capturing. The, I think that would be pretty sweet. Um, and then obviously to see Quinlan Voss would be cool. Um but other than that, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I think, I think he was being timid because you know he, he just he did, he wanted to be careful. I think Vader's a little bit more careful, like Theory was saying, than Anakin is. Anakin was just he jumped straight to it. Uh, Vader kind of you know he's kind of feeling it out um, because you know he's he's just more cautious and like, like Theory said, he's more of an intellectual. And uh, yeah, I agree with him. Uh, but I also I still don't buy into the the whole Vader suit is outdated i don't believe that i mean he's, he's darth vader um i think i think his suit's state of the art he can go to the depths of the ocean he can go to depths of a lava river on mustafar it's basically impenetrable uh you know for lightsabers and all that good stuff so i, I think i think he's got a great suit um at least in in today's canon he does um, but yeah let me know what you think do you agree with theory um, regarding Vader being timid, would you have liked to see Vader, you know, kind of go a little bit harder? Are you are you liking Vader so far in the show? Are you liking the Kenobi show? Let me know in the comments and um, definitely subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.